Zippers. In this video tutorial, we'll dive into the world of custom hooks and learn how to create a powerful hook called UseDevOps in React.js. This custom hook will allow us to optimize the performance of our applications by implementing debouncing functionality. So, let's get started. To begin, we will open up our code editor and create a new file for our custom hook. Let's name it UseDebounce. Within this file, we'll define our custom hook using the useState and useEffect hooks provided by React. Here is the basic structure of our useDebounce custom hook. It takes in two parameters, the value that needs to be debounced and the delay duration in milliseconds. Inside the hook, we create a state variable called debounce value using the use state hook, and initially, we set it to the provided value. Now, the magic happens within the use effect hook. We set up a timer using the set timeout function, which triggers a callback after the specified delay duration. Inside the callback, we update the debounced value with the latest input value. However, if the input value changes before the delay duration elapses, we clear the previous timer using clear timeout and set up a new timer. This process ensures that the debounced value only reflects the latest input value when the user has paused or remained inactive for the specified delay duration. By doing so, we avoid unnecessary updates and improve the overall performance of our application. Now that we have our use debounce custom hook, let's see how we can use it in a real world scenario. Imagine we have a search component where users can enter their search queries. Instead of triggering a search request with every keystroke, we can use the use debounce hook to delay the search until the user pauses typing. In this code example, we have our search component that utilizes the use debounce custom hook. We set up a state variable called search term to hold the user's input. Then, we use the use debounce hook by passing in the search term and a delay duration of, let's say, 500 milliseconds. The use debounce hook returns the debounced value, which we store in the debounce search term variable. Now, whenever the user types in the input field, the search term gets updated. However, the actual search or API request is performed using the debounce search term, which reflects the latest input value after the specified delay. And there you have it. By using the use debounce custom hook, we can optimize the performance of our search functionality or any other action that involves frequent updates. The debouncing technique reduces unnecessary requests or computations triggered by rapid changes in the input value, resulting in a smoother user experience. Custom hooks, like use debounce, empower us to extract and reuse logic across components, making our code more modular, maintainable, and scalable. Thank you for joining this video tutorial on creating the use debounce custom hook in React.js. I hope you found it insightful and can now leverage the power of custom hooks to optimize your React.js applications. Happy coding!